In quitting the Iran nuclear deal, Trump pitted the U.S. against some of its closest allies and leaving the future of Tehran's nuclear ambitions in question. It is clear to me that we cannot prevent an Iranian nuclear bomb under the decaying and rotten structure of the current agreement, Trump said from the White House diplomatic room. The Iran deal is defective at its core. If we do nothing we know exactly what will happen. Meanwhile, Trump announced early Wednesday that three Americans held in North Korea have been released and are on their way back home, which comes as the two countries prepare for an unprecedented face-to-face -face meeting between the two leaders. Here's a quick look at notable moments across the globe over the last 24 hours, one U.S. leaves the Iran deal Trump says he'll sanction Iran, crippling an agreement designed to halt the regime's pursuit of a nuclear bomb. To Europe salvages what it can the UK, France and Germany, express regret and concern about the decision and reach out to Iran. Western companies that do business with the regime worry US sanctions could hit them. Three Saudis weigh in on gas prices sanctioning Iran means cutting off a major market for its oil. Saudi leaders pledge to keep prices stable. 4. Death to America, chance restart Iranian hardliners literally set a copy of the landmark agreement on fire and burn an American flag in parliament. Iranian supreme leader and final arbiter on all Iranian policy threatens to boost nuclear enrichment. 5. An emissary goes to North Korea Trump announces Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is heading to North Korea after his plane is already in the air. He visits in part to make plans for a Trump-Kim summit. Six prisoners released after a good meeting, Pompeo's plane leaves North Korea for Japan with three American detainees. Trump tweets that he plans to meet the former prisoners when they arrive in the U.S. early Thursday.